going on YouTube? Welcome back to Living Life Fast. Today you join me at Sandown Park where I'm going to be filming a TTS and a TTRS which I'm very excited about. It's definitely going to be interesting to get a, a drive behind the wheel if we get time. Uh, as you can see, the owner's over there, his name's Nathan. We are working against the clock here but we'll see how it goes. Yes. How you doing? We say, man, you right? Yeah. Nathan. Swipe my cord like Kaiba, man, back brown like Nylon. Nylon. A bag. Yeah, Nathan. Cool, man. We saying, yeah, George? I'm back. Yeah, man. Nice. A bag on the outfit, casual. Boxing the socks on Fiverr. 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 So, yeah, what? Black TTS? Yeah, Black TTS. Black TTS, and then you got. Um, the Grey RS. Cool. So you own both of these cars, yeah? Yes, I own both of them. Yeah. This is my fourth TT. Fourth TT. I love for TTs. <laughs> uh, Mega Man, yeah, that's what George is Mega Man. <laughs> but yeah, so, so the TTS is stage two. Um, stage two, yeah. 37 horsepower. How much? 337. Okay. Um, 350 torque, all done by AMD. Okay. And then cool. this one here, you've got the stage one RS. Yeah. 410 horsepower, 450 torque, also yeah. done by AMD, but APR tune on this one. Okay. With AMD, they did their own tune on this one to get the 337. Custom horsepower. tune or? Custom tune. Okay. And uh, so what is it? What, what so what brings us to three three seven? What parts you say you got on it? So, at the moment, I've got a Cobra DCAT Co exhaust. Yeah. And I've got a Pipe Cross air filter. Okay. It's also got a DSG map as well. So it makes All right. Quicker so shifts. Shift, quicker shifts. Just yeah. a lot quicker. Yeah. This one is just, I said, just a generic, just a generic APR map at the moment. Yeah. In the future, I may go to stage two, but for now, we'll keep it at stage one. So, so far, I've had seven Audis. I've had uh, three A3s and yeah. four TTs. Jeez, man. Yeah. Certified Audi, yeah. innit? I'm, I'm man, where's, Audi the, man. where's the tattoo, man? <laughs> <laughs> I had one Z4, and to be honest, I had it for two years. I loved it. Z4, yeah? Yeah, I loved the car, okay. but yeah. nothing beats to me. Nah, the performance, Audi. this is like... Because yeah. this is RS, so like yeah. um, the differential, the yeah. power as well. So how you it, know, it's not just, also, not just the power, you know, it's the braking yeah. and handling. It just feels... Mm. So what is it? Is it is it are they cause are they RS style? Yeah, so if you look at the calipers brakes, look big, don't they? Yeah, so oh no, but they look the, the S yeah. ones look so quite big. I think yeah. they're 365, I'm not short, but I yeah. think they're roughly 365. Okay. I think the fronts of these are 310. Yeah. Right, so guys, yeah, we'll set up the cameras, get in the car and hopefully, yeah, try to get a drive in both the cars. So yeah, catch up with you guys in a second, yeah? Inside of these cars, man, they're yeah. bad, you know that. It's nice just, and just the layout, yeah. isn't it? It's just, yeah. yeah. It feels a bit more raw as yeah, well because yeah, yeah. the gen before obviously it's not the same as the gold far, but yeah. it's, it's, um, I think the, the all gen uh, previous gen cars feel that a bit more raw, don't they? Yeah. Wow, it is seriously quick, you know that. Yeah, it pulls, it, pulls it really lot. is quick. So as well, it's, to me, it's, it's good value for money as well. Definitely good value for money. Tuning, got tuning potential. Also, it's a very good, easy, everyday car. Yeah, yeah. And you can just feel it how it's just all stuck yeah. together. Everything it sticks. It's like a snake, isn't mm. it? It definitely gives you, um, I'll say, confidence. Mm. And what's it like when you uh, attack bends? Does it plow at all? Or? You know what? It's, it's actually all right on the bends. Yeah. So, if you say, with a comparison, yeah. the RS is a bit more secure. Okay. But with this, you can push it through bends. I think the best thing to do when you go around corners, corners of this car, yeah. keep your foot on the throttle yeah. and it's going to go through it. Yeah. Well, I noticed straight away there's a, you have to really turn the wheel. Yeah. The Golf far is, um, it's so, look at this, look how my wheel is yeah. locked. Uh, with the Golf far, it's got a real um, short um, steering rack. Okay. So, I mean, that there, that's yeah. almost locked. Mm. So, all in all, eight cars, seven, seven of which have been Audi, mm. four TTs, and three A3s, and one Z4. But I keep going back to TTs, I can't see myself getting another <laughs> car except for a TT. So it's got a Cobra um, Sports Decat exhaust okay. and also it's the DSG map has been done by AMD. Okay, so yeah, yeah. so it is kind of basic because with the extra torque as well, yeah. the gearbox needs the actual map. Yeah, makes oh a big yes, difference. The, yeah, yeah, that was, um, yeah, it's like the Golf far, mm. the um, like I said, the, the map I had on yeah. it. Um, it would over boost, so yeah. when I changed gear, mm. like the gearbox was so quick, it would change the gear, but the car would still be on boost. Yeah, like it was a bit, it was a weird one. <laughs> Audis are just very well made, man. Yeah. Like, I mean, how old is this car now? So, this car is 
car, this is 2009. Eight years old? Yeah. And it just feels solid. Solid, yeah, it's solid. solid. And if you compare it with a lot of new cars, for the price range, for, for the price you're paying as well. Mm. So at the moment, I say a good one, 13, 14, 15. Yeah. You get a good GTS. Yeah. To be fair, it's definitely worth the money, holds the value as well. How, how long has it been running these mods? So I've been running this mod since August. Since August, yeah. Yeah, so I put all these, all, these mods on myself. Like a year, basically, yeah. yeah. And, and what have you had to, what, any issues in that time? Anything? Nothing to do with mods, nothing like that. Yeah. Had little heater issues, heater, heater issues, motor, yeah. normal little stuff. tune cars they, yeah. they they mess about with the torque mm. and like the way like this probably kicks in so much earlier mm. oh my god that's not even stock is it no that's 410 oh shit that's 410 i thought like, in my head i'm thinking no, that's, that's 410 stock. that's what you that's 410 yeah that's very interesting mm. very interesting that's, that's, that's an apr tune as well which should be generally a lot harder more aggressive it looks really nice though mm. the, yeah you know you can see why people would have this uh, daily the mm. only thing is obviously the back seat yeah but I mean, for the for the cabin, I really love the cabin. Yeah. No, that's it. <laughs> I've seen the clips even myself yeah. of um, how quick these cars yeah. are versus DTRSs. Yeah. But are they, is it not a bit heavier the RS? I don't think so. Well, it should be. It should be because of the two point five. I think it maybe just a touch heavier. See, that's the only thing with auto boxes. Mm. You don't have that flop. Like, it's not immediate like yeah. with a manual. You probably ain't drive manual in ages as well. No, I don't drive the manual M3 for so long. <laughs> right, so guys, we're in the TTRS now. So, see what this is like to drive. <laughs> you don't like it in the passenger, innit? Yeah, do you know it? So, yeah, when I'm normally driving, I take the, yeah. take the mic. But when you're passenger seat, it feels, yeah, like, it feels a, a lot thing, different. And also, it's the torque. Yeah, yeah. So, what's the, um, so what are like the gearbox settings in this thing? Sport mode basically just sharpens the throttle response. Yeah. Um, it's quite similar to the Golf R. Yeah. Sharpens at the throttle, yeah? Yeah, sharpens the throttle response. Yeah. So and see, it's yeah. in, is it in sport now? Or? Sorry, it's in drive it's mode in drive at the moment. Now, yeah. 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 So if you fling into sport, you'll see a little difference now. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's a bit, come, yeah, yeah, a bit, a bit, a bit snappier. Yeah. yeah, and then obviously okay. it's in sport mode as well in terms of the um, valve in. It's got the valve. The exhaust. Yeah, yeah. valve for the exhaust. Yeah, okay. so sport mode basically opens up the um, valve's exhaust. Yeah, yeah sounds yeah. a lot louder. Yeah. So that's a separate button. Just separate button, totally. Yeah. Dedicated for the exhaust. For the yeah? exhaust sounds, yeah. Okay. The exhaust note. And then what about the traction button? So like, obviously I know it's gonna be, it's gonna disable. It. Does it fully disable the traction or? Yeah, it, it fully disables it. Um, I haven't tried to take it off fully. Yeah. So you've got like one mode where you can probably. Yeah, yeah so you got yeah, one mode sport, for launch control. Restricted stability. Yeah. And then if you hold it, I suppose. If it comes off. <laughs> and already I've noticed um, the gearbox because you've got the gearbox software haven't you on yeah. the TTS I already noticed that the, the gearbox feels definitely more on point in the TTS yeah but I can feel that the wheel feels heavier yeah yeah so this all goes with speed so the height the faster you go yeah weightens up yeah it, it weightens up it definitely feels more sturdy but yeah. it just feels like I'm driving a more expensive car mm. just from the wheel Well, is that the front that that cutting sound's coming from, or is that the exhaust? It's definitely the exhaust. It's the exhaust, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. But I think you saw there as well the torque difference as well, the power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's different. It's, it just fully holds you down. Yeah. And it's what the difference is is your TTS will eventually run out of buff. It's 
cars are super on point, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? The gear shifts are perfect. It's stable as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Pull over here. Yeah. And uh, jump, jump in the passenger seat. Okay. Yeah, the woman the phone's up. She's screwed up her face. Oh. Oh, no. Maybe I'm cheating, but I always getting TTs, I guess. Because they're easy, they're easy, they're easy <laughs> no, cops to drive. I don't even like to offend man, but you know, it's, like, it's not even, it's just facts, isn't it? You know? Yeah, sure, exactly. It's car one is R8, so it's just like, my dream car's R8. I like yeah. these cars, I don't know what it is, it's just, they're comfortable. Look, they're definitely like easier cars to drive. Front wheel yeah. drive cars, four wheel drive cars in general are easier cars to drive. Yeah. You've got people that complain about rear wheel drive, you know. Yeah. You know, like, it's hard to you know, talk without being offensive, yeah. to be honest. You I, know? I, I, think, I think each car's got its merits, and depends on what kind of style driving you like. If there was only one car you could have yeah. in the world, there's no cars left now. Like, you've got one car to have. Do you know what it'd be? It'd be, it'd be the new R8. New R8. <laughs> <New R8. laughs> <laughs> Your dream car. Like yeah, yeah. So I know some of you probably think I'm. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to the question properly, <laughs> but it'd be a new R8, because apparently the new R8 is a very real bias. Yeah, definitely. So, it kind of hits two boxes in one, and I still get my Audi. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm yeah, an Audi guy. Six. <laughs> I'm an Audi guy, I can't help it. I'm an Audi guy. Also, I've got to thank Audi and Sydney for that. The Audi and Sydney, best customer service. They look, they, <laughs> where, no, they, where are they, sorry, where are they looking? Sydney, South London. Sydenham, okay. They always bless Your me. Guys, yeah, yeah if you've got an Audi car, go yeah. down there, they, they look after you. Yeah. My Instagram is 62 Fitness. Yeah. Um, basically, I'm a personal trainer, so if you're ever interested in stuff like that, yeah. feel free to look on look on it. Yeah, guys, I'll leave his links in the yeah. description. So. Also, my personal Instagram, which is Bet Mixture, I coach football, I work yeah. at children, loads of kind of stuff on there. Yeah. You might find my personality a bit strange, I don't know. But um, mm -hmm. it's Nathan6262 with letters. Guys, 337 TTS yep. versus 410 brake TTRS. Yep. I'll say there's not that much in it, you will say. Yeah. Obviously, this is a lot more torque, so you feel. The feel, RS was definitely quicker. Yeah, yeah, it definitely. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it says technically, technically it was yeah, quicker. Yeah, there's, there's no comparison, I think, in terms of maybe speed, yeah. but TTS definitely holds its own. Hold, definitely holds yeah. Its own. yeah, the TTR is quicker. Of course, it's quicker, mm. but I mean, like, that the is. The power difference. The way you didn't see the gap. Yeah. The gearbox are yeah. uh, definitely. So, are they the same gearboxes? Yes, yeah, no, no, so it's different gearboxes. I know it's got the gearbox software, but are they. Different gearboxes. So, this. Yeah, so this has got a six speed. This one's got a seven speed. Yeah. Also, I think the big difference we noticed as well, I think, gear driving, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the gear shifting. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. This the gearbox a, is super on point. Yes. Yeah, so, this has got the, um, see, the um, AMD DSG remap. Yeah, and I think yeah, the remap yeah. makes and a big difference. You've yeah. noticed that massive, massive It makes, a, that, makes yeah. a big difference. Whether it's yeah. downshifting, yeah, yeah. quick, quick, quick and, speed. And I suppose stop for stop, this gearbox would be better than this. Yeah. It? So, it's, yeah. it's a seven speed gearbox. Yeah. It's a, generally, it's a better gearbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would say, quite slack in the map and with the APR tune. Yeah. It doesn't sink as well as this. It's a bit more this. lazy like with the shifts. You, you actually own the TTS as well, Yeah, you? I used to have one, yeah, but mine no, didn't have the DSG map. Okay. So this feels yeah. a little bit more hardcore. Yeah. But this is just so what like, do you think? Like do you what do you think performance wise? I'm, like? I'm impressed. I, I, honestly, yeah, because yeah. obviously Quick, when you think, oh okay, 337 versus yeah. 410, yeah. that's a huge gap. Obviously mm. the gap is gonna be night and day, but nah, to be but honest, it's, it's not for really, the price yeah. point as well, yeah. this thing was pulling half its way. Yeah, yeah. 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 So like, I'll, half say, the price. I'll say basically half the price. So I'll say yeah. someone who could spend 30, 40, 15 grand, yeah. this is a bargain. Yeah. I think yeah, yeah, with, yeah, the, with yeah. the RS, mm. some people may find it hard, maybe justifying spending that. Yeah, what well, this like the appearance, of course they look yeah, similar. They look, they look but, very similar, but it's more to it, I think. So with the RS, there's more, no. there's, there's more to it with the RS. Yeah. It's the tuning it capability. more expensive yeah. behind the wheel, inside, visually. Yeah. There's not much different, yeah. but you can feel the... So I think, so the handling, the, um, the structure of the car feels a lot better with the RS. Yeah. But also, like you said, if you're going to spend between 12 grand difference, yeah, yeah, yeah. if money's not issued, then I say go for the RS. Mm. But strangely enough, I've drove with V10 um, R8 a yeah. lot, and it's very similar. Yeah. The way it enters, bends, everything yeah. it feels very similar, man. Yeah, so some slight differences, I think, which makes yeah. a make difference. But to, to someone who doesn't maybe doesn't want to spend that much, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a bargain. To me, yeah, it's actually yeah. a bargain car. Yeah. Lots of power as well. Low down, mm. you won't see that much in it. Yeah. See when the road opens up, you see where the RS definitely holds yeah. its own and it tears it apart. But I'll yeah, say, yeah. someone said, yeah. price point, excellent no, no, car. Yeah, you can't, you can't go yeah. wrong. Yeah. But it's my dream <laughs> car, and obviously, as you know, it's said, TTs are my favorite car, so. 
definitely my dream car. Does anything I expect it to do from a TT. Yeah. And anything I expect it to do from my Audi. Got grip, straight line power, yeah. easy to handle. So like I said as well, with the TTS, it's currently for sale at the moment. Yeah. Um, basically, let's hit up Wiki. And yeah, yeah, pass, if anyone's interested. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, as you can see, um, it's very well looked after. Yeah. Lady owner, yeah. never yeah. been above 60. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, never been above 60. I'll cut that, I'll cut that <laughs> yeah. Never had a launch control this life, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> so you just put that in, put that in, put that in. Put that in. That, that's actually good, that's good dude. Put that in, that's actually good. But, um, yeah guys um, thanks for watching and uh, you know we'll probably do a, a, a bit more of an in-depth video on these cars uh, another time but I've you know I've been working against the clock today so yeah man um, hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and yeah I'll see you guys soon bye thank you